Hello, estimation. Welcome to my let's play of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. I'm a huge Kirby fan as well, and I don't really think I need to give a reason why. I mean, he's a little cute pink blob who runs around eating stuff and then murders stuff with the stuff he eats. Yeah, pretty awesome character. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new file here. Start game, single player, and let's get right into this. Level 1, Vegetable Valley. And we ride down on our handy warp star. So welcome to Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. In a Kirby game, you eat stuff, and then if you swallow certain enemies, you'll get their powers. For example, I just ate that Waddle Dew enemy, and he gave me Beam. This is the first level of the game, so basically the purpose of this level is to get you interested, or just to teach what the game is about, basically. Kirby also has another power which you can do, which is flying. This is, looks kind of ridiculous right now, but it's actually a really helpful ability he has. This is probably going to be a more laid-back Let's Play. I haven't done a platformer game on this channel since Cave Story, so I'm looking forward to this one. And there's actually a little bit of a secret in the first level. If you go in here, there's a UFO. And if you Tim, you'll get UFO power. UFO is probably the rarest Kirby power of all time, and it's really overpowered. Your basic attack is just beam, but if you hold down the attack button, you can send out these sort of laser things. I believe they bounce off hills as well, if you game at them, yeah, like that. It's really broken power, so I'm not going to be using it for the first level, because I'm just trying to show you what the game's about, and I don't really feel like I need to murder everything that badly. So let's go ahead and get a new power here, which is fire. Using fire, obviously you burn stuff. And don't run your face to enemies, or else they knock their power off you. But that's alright, since I took a hit, because as I just ate there, that was a mega tomato. If you one of those, it'll fully heal up your life. And that's the end of the first level. The exit to the level is represented by these big flashy star doors. And at the end of every level, you get to play a little minigame. Hold down A when you bounce on trampoline and see how many levels you can go up. Explosive flags, because who doesn't love explosives? Speaking of explosives, you may notice this bomb door up here. We'll deal with that a bit later. Now, straight into level 2. So now we meet our first trap enemy. These little spike balls you can't actually kill using any powers. Thankfully, they move in pretty straightforward movement patterns, just going up or down or left and right. But if you break this block, you can actually send this one on its way into space. And then we meet our next trap enemy. We have cannons. Cannons, again, you can't kill no matter what you do. And they sort of home around on you and try and fire out their shots. Fancy. Yeah, and some levels are warp stars just sort of casually lying about, which you can grab onto and they'll take you further into the level. And now we have a mini boss. For the first mini boss in the game, he's obviously not going to be too hard. He bounces around and occasionally throws bombs at you, and occasionally also jumps across the screen. If you eat him after you murder him, you'll get Crash. Fusroza! Yeah, it's fun. It's one time use power, which is basically used as a screen clear. And hey, I get fire back right after that, so why not show it off? You may notice underwater, whatever power you have will be lost, no matter if it's fire, it's, it's any power you have. Underwater you get Scuba Kirby, which fires out this adorable little water splash thingy. If any other normal enemies end up going into water, they will die, unless it's a fish or an aquatic type enemy. Only certain enemies you eat will actually give you the powers, they're usually quite identified with what attack they're using. For example, this mushroom here wasn't actually using any attack, so if we try and eat him, he's not doing anything. But this dude with the sword, we eat him, we get sword power. Sword is a melee type attack. If you're standing still and you use it, you'll just do sort of a slash. If you slide while using it, you do sort of downward swing. And if you use it midair, swoosh swoosh swoosh, big midair slash thingy. Can I get up to two? Oh, not quite. Also, can I just mention how adorable it is that Sword Kirby kind of makes Kirby look like Link from the Legend of Zelda series? I'm not sure whether that was intentional, but it's adorable nonetheless. So let's check out what this bomb door is all about. Bomb Rally. Press A to hit the bomb. Well, that sounds safe. And then you realize we're hitting bombs with a frying pan. Health and safety out the window. 
So for all the game, there's, there are these little mini games you can play. This is the first one in the game, Bomb Rally. Basically, you're hitting around a bomb through a group of colored Kirbys with a frying pan. After the bomb's been tossed around enough, one of the four Kirbys will go boom. The way you win this minigame is being the last man standing. And you'll notice as the ball keeps going, being passed around the circle, it goes faster. And now it's just a standoff between me and Yellow Kirby. So let's see if we can win this. Don't send it back my way, give it to him. Catch. Damn it. Catch it with your face. No! Not me, I meant the Yellow Kirby. Eh, ah, game second place. And so we get two one ups, how fitting. I believe the prize for going first pace or first place is three one ups. Let's not let that bother us too much though, and head straight into level three. And don't make me lose my sword. It's the legend of Kirby. These cannons, if you remove the ground underneath the cannon, then they will fall. And these ones we can send flying down to pits. So let's send Neil's free down there to go up a party. And nope, give me my sword. Alright, I believe if we eat these, these enemies, we get the burning power. Which turns Kirby into a fiery chicken that turns him into a comet which he goes flying at enemies with. Yeah, health and safety, not a big issue in Kirby games, apparently. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't suck up anything underwater, so if you lose your power underwater, then it's pretty much gone. Come on, Froggy. Eat my water. There we go. Also, if you, need an, if you eat an enemy and you don't feel like swallowing it, you can just spit it right back out and hurt another enemy with it. Okay. I don't feel completely safe using burning when I'm slow on health, so I'm going to inhale this, which is spark. When you use it, it'll set up this sort of electric field around you, so you can use this to damage nearby enemies, without actually having to get too close. Walk into my electricity, there we go. Now I can get this mega tomato, fill myself back up, and exit the third level. Whoa, got all the way up to two there. And with that, we've unlocked the fourth level and this mysterious door right here. Next time on Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, we'll be checking out well, we'll be checking out what this door does and progressing onto the fourth level. See you guys then.